Hey, American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and I think, I possibly think, this is one of the best episodes we've ever aired for you guys. I found you 10 very affordable street rods that I think you're going to want to buy. They're just amazing for the price. Also, we're going to find out who won the Hot Wheels from last video's giveaway, the 57 Thunderbird. Plus, we're going to be giving away another Hot Wheels toward the end of this video. And also, we haven't had one of these for a while. I've got a viewer's car that's up for sale. We're going to be showcasing that in tonight's video as well. It's slam packed for you guys. I got you some trivia. Sit back and enjoy. I think you're going to love this video. Before we take a look at number one, I want to remind you guys and gals that if there are any cars in this video that you're interested in checking out, all you got to do is go over to this video's description, find that car in the description, click on that link, and it'll take you straight to the ad where this car is at for sale. Okay, let's get the fun rolling with number one. This is a 1947 Ford Hot Rod Coupe listed in West Point, Virginia for $7,500. For sale is a 1947 Ford Hot Rod Custom Coupe that runs and drives great. This car is powered by Big Block 460 with an automatic transmission, which is hooked up to a Ford 9-inch rear end mounted with 15-inch Pacer wheels. All the expensive custom bodywork on this car has been completed, including a 3-inch top chop, shaved door handles, Frenched taillights, a custom rear bumper, and a lowered stance. The body is painted Coca-Cola red, which displays well, but needs to be buffed out. The body is straight and all the glass is good, with all electrical components working as they should. The interior looks nice, but needs the headliner replaced. A brake line needs to be replaced before it's ready to cruise. This hot rod is priced to sell at $7,500 firm and won't last long at this price. Now, if you don't see a car that you like in the video tonight, be sure to check out the other posted videos because there are still a lot of great cars in those videos for sale as well. And who knows, you might find your dream car over in one of those videos. Okay, let's rock and roll over to number two. Check this one out. 1955 Ford two-door post listed in South Plainfield, New Jersey for $8,500. For sale is a 1955 Ford two-door post that has been driven only 50,000 original miles and is in excellent condition. This car runs great and is a joy to drive with the original straight six cylinder engine and dual carburetors connected to a three-speed manual transmission on the tree. The interior is original and in good shape but with some stains typical of a car from this era. Not too long back, the car received a new aqua blue paint job and stylish Krager smoked five-spoke rims, which topped off the hot rod look. There are some minor dings on the roof, but overall, this little Ford is in amazing condition. It comes with a clean title and is available for purchase at $8,500 or best offer. And guys, I think this little Ford's pretty sharp looking and not a bad price for one like this one. Tell me what you think in the comments. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and be sure to turn on that notification bell. You want to get notified as soon as these videos drop so that you'll have the earliest access to the cars that are in the video that are for sale. Number three, 1923 Ford T-Bucket listed in St. Clair Shores, Michigan for $9,000. For sale is a 1923 Ford T-Bucket it is powered by a 327 cubic inch Chevy engine sourced from a 1967 Corvette with headers and a 350 turbo transmission. The transmission is connected to a 9 inch Ford rear end and is mounted on chrome rims with baby moon and white wall tires. This tea bucket runs and drives exceptionally well. It is a very fun ride and sounds incredible when taking off. Styled after the classic 1950s hot rod look, 
This car is a real head turner on the street. It has a new custom built black interior and flat black paint which complements its overall style. For safety front disc brakes were added along with new U-joints and a new battery. This vehicle has a clean title and is available for $9,000 cash firm or the seller will consider trades of $6,000 cash plus a minimum $6,000 trade added with it. Alright guys, here you are, a 1923 Ford T-Bucket with that classic 50 style hot rod look. You can get this one for $9,000. Tell me what you think about it guys. I think it's sharp. Okay, it's time to see how much trivia you guys and gals know. This is the first of three questions in the video tonight. I will put the answers at the end of the video just to help out. Meantime, drop your answer in the comments for each one as they come through, and then we'll see how many gets it right. Trivia question number one. What was the last car to retain the famous bullet nose grill design that was inspired by the 1948 Tucker? See if you know that answer. If you do, drop it in the comments now, and we'll check the answers at the end of the video. Number four. 1950 Ford Shoebox, listed in Sheridan, Illinois, for $12,500. Up for sale is a 1950 Ford two-door post street rod that is in excellent condition and ready to be showcased at any cruise in or used as a daily driver. This car runs and drives smoothly and is powered by a Chevrolet 350 cubic inch engine coupled with a 350 automatic transmission for excellent shifting. This car features a brand new custom red interior that looks amazing and the glossy red paint job that makes the car stand out. This amateur restoration job, which was done very nicely, has only clocked about 500 miles, mostly driven around town into local cruise ends. This Ford is equipped with an aluminum eight hole rims mounted on new tires, and the bumpers and front grille have been powder coated for a unique custom look. All the body chrome is in good condition, the window glass is brand new, and the car's electrical system works perfectly. This car is an excellent value for the money. It comes with a clean title. The asking price is $12,500 or best offer. Trivia question number two. What was the year model of the VW in the Disney movie Herbie the Love Bug? Go ahead and drop your answer in the comments for fun. We'll see what everybody's got to say and we'll check the answer at the end of the video. Okay, we're about to break the halfway point with number five. This is a 1929 Ford Model A two-door listed in County, Texas for $8,900. For sale is a 1929 Ford Model A two-door that has an all-steel body and is a project street rod that runs and drives. It is powered by a 350 cubic inch Chevy engine and is paired with a TH350 automatic transmission and the headers and side pipes give it a great sound. This car features a Ford Explorer Positrack rear end, a Mustang 2 front suspension, four-wheel disc brakes, and new black eight hole steel rims with new tires. The seller has the stock hood to go back on the car. All original glass is in good condition and everything electrical works. However, a new wiring harness wouldn't hurt. The original frame is not boxed, but the seller has the boxing kit to go with it. Some minor body work and paint would make this rod look awesome. This 29 just needs someone to love it and finish it on out to make a great street rod. The seller is asking $8,900 or best offer, but they are willing to consider pre-1966 cars for trade. 
As always, let me invite you over to the American Rod Shop store. You can find the link over in the description. In the store, you're going to find t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, mouse pads, posters, and other great items that makes great Christmas gifts. And the sale from all these items goes back into supporting the channel. Okay, let's find out who won that 57 Ford Thunderbird NASCAR from last week's video. Let's draw for it, and then we're going to give away another Hot Wheels at the end of this video. Okay, we're going to YouTube Comment Picker. We're going to put in the URL code for the video. Then we're going to pick Select a Comment. Find out who won this one. Mike Distadio. Congratulations, Mike. You have won the 57 Ford Thunderbird Hot Wheels. Now, contact me at AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com for details on how to receive your prize. And I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. Number six, 1930 Ford pickup listed in Golden Valley, Arizona for $17,500. For sale is this custom-built 1930 Ford pickup truck, powered by its small block 305 engine with its automatic 700R transmission. This little truck runs and drives extremely well and will take you anywhere you want to go. It has a forward 9-inch ladder rear end and rack and pinion steering that makes it handle amazingly. Custom touches include smoked Krager 5 spoke wheels, a black and red custom interior with bucket seats, a beer keg style gas tank, and extra wide wheels. The builder kept the original dings in the body to give this little truck a rat rod look. This truck has new paint and everything electrical works good. This truck comes with a clean title and the seller is asking $17,500 or best offer. Okay, this is the third and final trivia question. Get ready to drop your answer in the comments for fun, and we'll check everybody's answer and see if they got it right at the end of the video. What was the last car to have tail fins? If you know, put it in the comments, and we'll go from there. Number 7. 1957 Chevy Station Wagon listed in Eugene, Oregon for $13,900. For sale is this 1957 Chevrolet four-door station wagon that runs and drives great, but still needs just a little TLC. It is powered by a Chevy 350 engine and automatic transmission. The car is pretty clean for its age, hardly no rust, with the red paint being okay and still glossy, but has a couple small spots that need attention. The interior is complete and all there, but does need to be restored. The chrome is good with some imperfections, but still displays nicely. The seller has all the parts to complete the car, which includes all seals, all trim, all speaker holders, gas covers, extra suspension pieces, and other parts. This car is priced to sell and will not last long at this price, asking $13,990 or best offer for this 1957 Chevy station wagon. Okay, let's pause for a moment and take a look at a viewer's car that he sent in for sale. This is a 1956 Willys wagon owned by a gentleman viewer by the name of Frank. And I will link the contact information for this car over in the video's description along with the other cars if you're interested in it. This is like one of the nicest 1956 Willys wagons I've ever seen. It's been customized and fully restored back. Here's the details on it. This is a 1956 Willys wagon, and it sits on an S10 frame. It has a 327 small block Chevy from a 1965 Corvette. It has an M21 four-speed transmission with a Hurst pistol grip shifter that looks pretty cool. It has a Moser 8.8 .8 rear with less than 200 miles on it. Four captain chairs are out of the Dodge Caravan, sets off the interior pretty good. The tires are 235-60-R15 front and 275-60-R15 on the rear. It does have electric parking brake, which currently is not connected but has been installed. It has a stereo mounted in the headliner, which is pretty awesome. It has vintage air to keep you cool 
and has been to multiple car shows and is an awards winner. He says he needs to sell to make room for other projects, so he's got it up for sale. He is asking $32,000 for this vehicle, and it's located in Martinsburg, West Virginia. So if you're interested in this car, I think it's pretty sharp wheelies, probably one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. Go over to the video's description and check it out. Back to the count with number 8. 1926 Ford Model T listed in Circle Pines, Minnesota for $9,500. For sale is this all-steel-bodied 1926 Henry Ford Model T Coupe. This hot rod runs and drives well, being powered by a Buick 231 engine with three-speed automatic transmission. This car was built as a custom just a few short years ago and still looks great. While not a show car, it is definitely a car that's fun to drive to cruise-ins and even has a trailer hitch to pull any trailers for longer runs. The satin black paint job and the matching black interior really set this car off perfectly. The trunk area is custom lined with formed aluminum for strength and the custom tail light panel looks cool as well. Chrome rims with baby moon hubcaps round out the package making the asking price of $9,500 or best offer not a bad deal for this all steel 1926 Ford Model T Coupe. Okay, the Hot Wheels giveaway for tonight's video is this very hard to find 1959 Cadillac Eldorado Coupe Hot Wheels car. Now, in order to win this, there are just two requirements. One, you must be a subscriber. So if you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And secondary, you need to put the word caddy in the comments. Be a subscriber and drop the word caddy in the comments and you'll be entered in to win. And we will draw for this Hot Wheels in the next upcoming video. Just two more street rides left, so let's check out number 9. 1947 Ford Coupe, listed in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, for $13,900. Up for sale is this red, rust-free 1947 Ford Coupe, old hot rod style, that was built 30-plus years ago and has been mostly garage-kept since then. Powered by the original flathead with two recently rebuilt carburetors, Matched up to a three-speed on the floor, this car runs and drives great. It has had a 12-volt conversion and an old-school drop-style axle added with old-school chrome reverse and new Porta white wall tires. The gray interior still looks good, and all the glass is good as well. This car is a solid driver, but not a show car. Also comes with the set of bumpers, but they would need to be re-chromed to be used. Asking $13,900 or best offer for this 1947 Ford Coupe Vintage Hot Rod. Number 10. 1946 Dodge Business Coupe listed in Morganton, North Carolina for $14,000. For sale is this beautiful customized 1946 Dodge Business Coupe Street Rod. Powered by a 230 flathead with a fluid drive manual transmission, this very reliable car runs and drives as it should. Only driven 85,000 miles since it was built, this is a great rust-free cruiser. It has a super straight body with beautiful blue paint job and lots of great flashy original body chrome. The blue and black interior was restored a few years back and still looks amazing. All glass is good. Everything electrical works great, and the five-hole aluminum rims look fantastic on it. Asking a very reasonable $14,000 or best offer for this rare 1946 Dodge Business three-window coupe. What was your favorite car in tonight's video? Drop your answer over in the comments for fun. And we'll see what everybody's got to say about their favorite car. And here are the answers for tonight's trivia. Answer number one was a 1951 Studebaker. That was the last year they did the bullet nose grill. 
Answer number two was 1963 VW Bug. That was the year and model of the car used in the Herbie the Love Bug movie. And number three was 1964 Cadillac. That was the last year for the tail fins. I tell you, time flies when you're having fun. And I sure do appreciate each and every one of you for joining me in tonight's video. Thank you so much for being viewers. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. But until the next video, God bless everybody, and I will see you then. Thanks.